Hello everyone, this is Mr. Creative and today, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how to make a Legend of Zelda style heart container in Minecraft. Um, there's actually two ways to do this. What you want to do is both ways actually include making a procedure. We'll just make this called heart container. Um, health add. Let's just call it that. And then what we need to do is, okay, if you're on 1.15.2 Forge, you're going to need to install the VTM's toolkit. And you're going to have to get the set max health um, procedure block. This is not in regular M crater, so you won't actually see either of these. But ignore cloth commons right now and focus on the purple bar right here, which is labeled DTM. Might be a different color for you, but I don't know for sure. Um, but if you're actually on 1.16 forge in the future, what you want to do is you want to go to world management. and want to go to execute command slash attribute. And then actually I have... Um, some syntax here. This is the Minecraft wiki page for the attribute command. Um, I'll be definitely leaving a link in the description to this page so you know how to do the attribute command, which will be the easiest way to do it in the future without having to install a plugin. But right now, it's not the future right now, it's the present. So 1.15.2 Forge, which is what I'm using right now, uh, we'll have to use the set max health of, ent of event slash target entity. Once you have that block, drag it right there. You have to go to entity AA or HUD scroll near the bottom here at the max health of target entity. Um, you go to the math and grab the block that looks like this with the plus sign. We have to drag our number block right there, put this to two because anything lower than two, um, like one, will not actually register half a heart currently. It will um, bug out and it will give you half a heart um, with internal it'll basically store it in its code, so once you get another heart, or another half heart, it will give you the full heart. So, I recommend you actually give yourself um, to health right here. And then, all I have to do now is just drag the max health of event slash target entity plus two, right there in that block, and then just hit save mod elements. Now we have to create the actual heart container item, so we'll just call this heart container. There we go. We can select our texture here. We can go to properties, we can just keep this the same. We don't have to mess with any of this stuff. And all we have to do now is just go to triggers. We have to go to when right click in air and heart container add and hit a monument. Now if you want to actually make it so that the item disappears and you can't use it like an infinite amount of times, what you need to do is you're going to go to, let's see, player procedures and then go to remove one blank and select the heart container item. And there we go, now it works. So while the world loads, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you might follow it, it would be greatly appreciated if you're subscribed. And if this tutorial helped, make sure you leave a like. It is greatly appreciated. And now all we have to do now is just click our heart containers and it gives us extra hearts. So we can do slash give at self heart container. We just give ourselves maybe like 10 of them. We can increase our health a lot and just spam click it. And then you can see there we have our full max health. And if we even do slash kill, oops. We do just slash kill. We will still keep our hearts. And if you don't like it like that, you can make it so that whenever entity dies, if it is a player, it will set the max health back to 20. So I'll be showing you how to do that right now. So you have to create a brand new procedure. And you can do this heart health reset. And then what you're going to do is you want to go to logic. Or actually flow control first. I'm going to go to the if blank. I want to go to the, um, let's see. I don't know where it is now because I moved everything. Oh, it's under logic now. Uh, if you want to go to logic, is event target entity subtype of blank. I want to make this player. And also just to make sure that there is no bugs, also make sure that you put or, copy that, and put player. MP because that can be a glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch anymore. But I know it used to be a glitch where that could happen. Um, and then we just have to put in external inputs just for this to look nice. We don't actually have to. You can mess with the settings of these. You can put inline inputs. I'm just gonna keep it at this for just regular for the tutorial. And then all we have to do now is just go to. Uh, all we have to do is now do set max health of party entity 20. And now we have to go to the event trigger up here. And let's see, where is it? It's going to be, I think, a player? I think it would be actually entity dies. 
yeah, I think that would be actually, yeah, entity dies. There we go. And then just save mod element. So now I will test this out in game. So now I am in game, and now it is time to test out this little mechanic. As you can see here, I have a bunch of hearts. And now if I just die, I'm just going to do slash kill. I will lose all my hearts. And as you can see there, I have lost all my hearts. Also, what you can do, um, just something really quickly. I'm not going to test this out in game. But you can also do um, another procedure, which will be leave under entity management, which is the set current health. Yeah, set health of entity to... Um, all we have to do now is just get the... We can really do anything you want to this. We can just actually get... We can just copy this see right here and just set it to max health. So it will automatically heal you entirely. So yep, and there we go. And that is the entire procedure. I will be leaving a link down below in the description to both of these procedures if you, just, if you don't want to actually have to form them. See you guys next time, and goodbye, guys.